everyone in this video i'm going to show you guys how to install tensorflow in your python environment and i know this might be extremely simple for experienced python developers but i noticed it could be a painful process for beginners so the focus of this video will be helping you guys install tensorflow 2 in your python setup now the first thing i'm going to do is install anaconda if you have anaconda installed on your pc you can skip this step but if you don't Go to anaconda.com and download the setup. I'll leave a link to this page in the video description. Anaconda is an open source distribution of Python that will make it easy for us to install Python packages. It will also help us create Python environments where we will install our packages. Now when you're on this page, click the download button and this will direct you to these links. I've downloaded the 64-bit version for Windows with the latest Python version because that's what I'm using. So just choose one suitable for your PC. Setting up Anaconda is pretty straightforward and I won't be doing it since I already have it installed on my machine. So just download the setup and install it. Then proceed with the video when you're done. All right, at this point, I think you're done with the Anaconda setup. So I think we can proceed to creating the Python environment we will work in. Now you can do this in one of two ways. I'm going to cover both ways so you'll just proceed with whichever you find most comfortable. I'll start with the one I find to be the easiest, which is using Anaconda Navigator. With Anaconda installed on your machine, you can open Anaconda Navigator to create your Python environment. You don't have to do this though, you can still work in the base environment, but I'll still cover it in this video. Now to create an environment, click on Environments on the left sidebar. You'll find a Create button below your environments with a plus icon above it. Click on the Create button. Then fill in the name for your environment. I'm going to use YouTube for mine, but you can use any name for yours. And for packages, make sure the Python checkbox is selected. Then select the Python version for your environment. TensorFlow 2 requires a Python version greater than 3.4. So make sure that the Python version you choose is above 3.4. I'm going to choose 3.7 for my environment. Great. With all that done, you can click Create. And Anaconda will whip up a new Python environment for you. It may take a while installing all the required Python packages though, so you have to be patient with this step. Alright, and when it's done, your environment will be added to your list of environments and you can click on it to activate it. Now if you don't prefer using that method though, you could use Anaconda prompt to create a Python environment. Anaconda prompt is a command line tool that comes with Anaconda and you can open it once you have Anaconda installed. To create an environment, run the command conda create dash n for new environment. Then your environment name, which for me it's YouTube. Then the Python version you'd be using for your environment, which for me it's 3.7. Now I won't be running this command because I don't want to create the environment again. I've already created it using the navigator but if you like to use this method you could run this command now after you run this command and anaconda installs all the packages necessary for your environment and generates your environment you can run conda activate then your environment name to activate the environment and as you can see, my environment has been changed from the base environment to the YouTube environment. So that will be how you do it using Anaconda prompt. Great, with the environment setup complete, we can proceed to installing TensorFlow 2. And I will show you how to do this using both the navigator and the command line tool. If you're using the navigator, on the top right section of the navigator, there's a drop down list with installed selected. Click the drop down list and select not installed. This will show a list of packages you have not installed in your environment. In the search field towards the right, search for TensorFlow. And a list of related packages will be shown. Then select TensorFlow from the list and click the apply button below. Anaconda will install TensorFlow packages into your Python environment, and this might take a while. 
using Anaconda prompt to install TensorFlow, you will need to have a version of PIP greater than 19.0. PIP is the standard package management system used to install and manage Python packages. So to upgrade your PIP version, you run the command pip install dash dash upgrade pip and this will install the latest version of pip on your pc i'm not going to run it though because i already have the latest version of pip installed on my pc now with the latest version of pip installed on your pc you can run pip install tensorflow to install tensorflow and this will install the latest version of tensorflow into your python environment i will not be doing this though because i already have tensorflow installed in my python environment but that's how you do it using anaconda prompt Great, with all that done, we can now test to see if everything works as we expected. To test our setup, I'll use Jupyter Notebook that comes with Anaconda. Feel free to use any IDE you want though. You can find Jupyter Notebook on the home window of the navigator. You first need to install the notebook though. Great, with the notebook installed, you can click launch and it will be opened in your browser. Now here I'll create a new Python 3 file. And in this file, I'll run a small piece of code to import TensorFlow to test if it's been installed correctly. So import TensorFlow as TF. Now, if this line runs without issues, it would mean that we have TensorFlow installed correctly, but if it doesn't, it would mean that we have done something wrong and we need to fix it. Great, that gave us no errors, so our setup went well without any issues. Now, if you're installing TensorFlow in an environment where you already had NumPy installed, you might have run into some issues when you tested the installation. To fix this, you'll have to uninstall NumPy and let TensorFlow install its own version of NumPy. So to uninstall NumPy, open Anaconda prompt and run this command. pip uninstall NumPy. And this command will uninstall NumPy from your Python libraries. After removing NumPy, you'll have to then reinstall TensorFlow and it will then install with its own version of NumPy. So to remove the TensorFlow version you have already installed, run pip uninstall TensorFlow. And this will remove the TensorFlow version you have already installed. I won't be doing that though because mine was installed correctly. But then you can follow the installation guide to properly install TensorFlow after that. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Leave a like on this video if it was helpful and don't forget to subscribe.